Hi there. I noticed with some interest the amazingly popular YouTuber Agadmator, great analyst, uh, has found a little crack, it seems, in the London system. And I do have a course on the London system. And in fact, I didn't actually talk about what he mentioned. I thought it was a bit difficult for White to get an advantage. Except, and this is the point of this video, just to highlight something which maybe was downplayed a little bit about the anti-London system proposed by Agadmeta. So let's have a look. D4, knight f6, bishop f4. The proposal is c5. The downside of this move is actually evident. Black hasn't played d5. Because black hasn't played d5, white can actually play d5 here. The upside of the move was trying to show the downside of this move, that it neglects b2. So a quick queen b6 is very interesting. And even more interesting, as Agamemnon mentions, if, you, if you're not too greedy to take that pawn. And there are some high-level games which show you know some suffering for white. So my recommendation is actually, though, rather simple. And I don't think this can be really downplayed. The recommendation is to play d5. If this is going into Benoni-type pawn structures, generally white has a nice, pleasant, solid, small advantage. White doesn't have to follow up with c4. White can also consider knight c3. So if we look at this, I'm just going to take a few example moves here. So the first move, b5, what would we do here? Well, then c4, and this is a pretty nice position for white. White has a pleasant little advantage here, looking forward maybe uh, to all sorts of possibilities. The tension's there. It's a nice, exciting position. You can even do this kind of thing. I mean, it's a small edge. So let's go back and look at queen b6. So this looks critical, trying to expose b2. We have the Vaganian gambit. Raphael Vaganian has this gambit here idea, knight c3. We just allow, if black wanted to, take on b2 to retreat the bishop. This is, this is very, very dangerous for black. The statistics in practice favor white considerably. Trompowski players like Julian Hodgson have made use of this. Uh, to transpose into this Vaganian gambit is extremely dangerous. For example, white can play then f4 and then look forward sometimes to a quick e5 later. It's a very, very dangerous position. Uh, so statistically, white's doing brilliantly here in the Vaganian gambit. Let's go back and have a look at another third move alternative after d5, g6. Here, knight c3 again. And this structure is, in general, a small advantage for white because of the extra space. Yeah, so the downside of the early c5 is pronounced. You get structures, pawn structures, which generally are known to be better for white. The modern Benoni pawn structure had its heyday in 1960. Mikhail Tao becoming world champion in 1960. Uh, but generally, White has important strategic pawn breaks, which make the structure a little bit controversial compared to the more solid pawn formations, which most modern grandmasters prefer. This is a small advantage for white. So white is definitely not obliged to follow up with c4. If we look at this again, d5. If we look at now e6 as an example, we can play knight c3. And this position again, is going to be pleasant for white. There's even an e5 break. This has been seen before as an example. White's doing really quite well here. For example, like this. These are all very, very nice positions. Let's go back and look at another option. Queen a5 check. We can play bishop back and knight c3. Our friend Knight C3. Getting into that dangerous Vaganian Gambit territory is very, very interesting. So I just am not really sure that this can be seen as, to be honest, an anti London system. I think London system players, in fact, welcome C5 because of D5. I've had this several times on Sunday. Players playing D5, most trouble. It's very, very dangerous Gambit territory that uh, you can transpose into D6. 
knight c3 again we get a nice position with white we can put the bishop here and we can like make use of the f4 square again if black played like this for whatever reason it's just all pretty pleasant uh as pointed out though i i do agree that it seems a bit tricky if white plays e3 e3 is a kind of passive move that's why in my course on the london system i did strongly recommend d5 the key thing about the london system is you don't just routinely set up the triangle you really have to see what the opponent's doing to optimize your potential for winning mastering the london system is the act of being kind of flexible uh, you know like water like bruce lee you know be like water react you don't just routinely set up the triangle and there's quite a lot of systems involving knight c3 are recommended uh, especially shortcutting king's engine defense theory knight c3 plays a very important role in many of the very effective variations of the london system so i hope you do check out my course it does have a mention of this early c5 and some of the difficulties I experienced in finding a way to equalize, even equalize with white with E3. So it's a good it's a good point, but it's at the first hurdle, D5, that I question it. There is also potentially a sub point though, if you did play E3 and you end up with the Queen B6 stuff, sometimes G4 becomes possible because black also hasn't stopped G4. Sometimes modern engines will pick up that as an interesting possibility as well with bishop g2 so sometimes this whole queen b6 a6 is also a little bit suspect there but that's an entirely different variation that i don't really want to focus this video on i just want to question from the outset why why it wouldn't play the immediate d5 if you think the immediate d5 is bad please let me know in the comments i'm really all ears i just don't think this is bad at all statistically it's very very nice once you get into the Virganian Gambit, it's like one of the best gambits going. You know, the Virganian Gambit in terms of its stats, its winning stats. Okay, comments, questions, like, shares, subscribes, all appreciated. And thank you to Agamator for starting off this theoretical discussion. <laughs> Thanks very much.